Welcome back. I would like to cover now leakage modification. So basically, similar to projection operator we just covered in the previous video, it is a tool to guarantee boundedness of the closed loop system trajectories when we cannot arrive V dot less than or equal to zero. Similar to the projection operator video, um, I have a similar setup, basically x dot equals to this time varying uncertainty multiplied by x plus u. This is the nominal control signal. This is the adaptive control signal. When you apply this u to this system, you end up having these dynamics, w tilde here, w hat minus w. Um, as following the motivation um, from the to adapt or not to adapt video, we are considering model reference adaptive control, and here is the reference model capturing the ideal close-up system performance in the absence of system uncertainties. So here it is. And we would like to drive x to the reference model state xr. So we construct this error signal. Once you take find the dynamics for error errors, you have e that equals to minus alpha e minus w tilde x. All right, so here, again, this is an alternative to projection operator, and it is called leakage modification. Here is the parameter update law with leakage modification. Here, gamma and sigma are positive terms. Basically, here, what this does is, let's say for a second, this term is considerably small because we make, we, we, let's say, we make error small, then, W had that approximately becomes gamma my gamma W had that becomes minus gamma sigma W hat approximately so that since this is positive multiplied by a minus sign W hat go, starts to go down to zero so let's say you basically W hat in time like this and then let's say your error becomes small then you your W hat tries to converge this equilibrium, zero equilibrium point. So for this reason, this is called the leakage term. And in some earlier papers, it is also called like the adaptive control with forgetting factor. And people also call it like sigma modification. That's why I call it, uh, I use the uh, symbol, uh, the gain for this leakage term, sigma. Now, I would like to mention two things. Um, I would like to compare it with regard to, with, in contrast, with, basically, with the projection operator. So, in contrast to the projection operator, here, we do not need to know W min, W max. Right, I mentioned in the proje projection operator video that it is not a big deal if you really don't know W min and W max, just assume conservative estimates use 10 minus 10, 100 minus 100, it won't affect your performance. I will demonstrate this in the next video. But here with uh, leakage modification, you simply don't need such a consideration. So, but this is the advantage as compared to the uh, projection operator. What is the disadvantage? When you implement this parameter estimate, and let's say after some time, W dot becomes zero, meaning that this becomes constant, then it is not possible to recover asymptotic convergence of the error dynamic. I demonstrated with the projection operator video that you can recover this um, asymptotic convergence of the error dynamics when W dot is zero. You are going to see with this leakage modification, this is not possible. So this is the advantage, this is the disadvantage of this video. All right, <clears throat> let's perform uh, the analysis. This is the E dot dynamics. This is the W tilde dot dynamics. This is w hat dot minus w dot. I am, use, I am using our, for now, since we are constant scalar systems, our generic Lyapunov function candidate. When you take its derivative, you have e, e dot term here and here w tilde w tilde dot term after we insert e dot and w tilde dot. 
Um, I would like to mention about three steps. The first step is about this term. I am going to use Young's inequality, similar to the previous video uh, projection operator. So this is upper bounded by this. I am taking absolute value. And I am applying Young's inequality to this term, which you can arrive this for some positive constant d1. And upper bound, basically w that w dot, uh, th this is assumed to be bounded by this constant. I mentioned in the previous video, sorry, I am, I am saying several times I mentioned, I mentioned, but this is, um, each video in this series builds upon the previous videos. So it is important that in this playlist, you watch all these videos in order, in order to fully grasp the world of adaptive control and learning theory. Um, it is possible to relax uh, this boundedness assumption of W dot, but uh, this, this can be a topic of another video. I don't want to dive into these technical details here. All right, so um, now if you look at this term, it includes W hat. Since W tilde is defined like this, you can here solve it for W hat, which is W tilde plus W. And if you use it for this term, minus W tilde sigma W hat, W hat, I am inserting this here. I arrived to this step and you can write it like this. And finally, I would like to focus on this term. This is upper bounded by this. Now I am applying Young's um, inequality one more time to this term and here d2 is some arbitrary uh, positive constant. Now applying step one, two, three to this equation, then you eventually arrive, you know, um, this upper bound on v dot. Here I group the terms depending on w tilde to the power of two and these constant terms. Now, the, for the stability analysis to hold, this term here needs to be positive, so-called D3. Since D1 and D2 are arbitrary constants that coming from this Young's inequality, it is always possible to choose them such that this is positive. So I am going to consider that D3 to be D3 to be positive based on appropriate selections on D1 and D2. Now, basically, we arrive minus alpha e to the power of 2 minus d3 w tilde to the power of 2 plus d4. Once again, I am going to apply comparison, comparison principle, which is explained on these lectures on adverse control systems, Lyapunov stability, and more, till the end of this video. Um, I did a similar treatment on the projection operator uh, video. Basically, in order to write, uh, apply comparison principle, I need to write this part as a function of V and some constant. So I am introducing two and dividing by one over two, two alpha, one over two alpha. And I am defining D5 to be this minimum of these terms, such that, you know, this was one of the terms in the Lyapunov function candidate. This was the second term. If you make this as basically, if you define d5 to be the minimum of these constants, then it is possible to have v in here, plus you have d4. So you have basically v dot my minus basically d5 v plus d4 which is similar to this structure such that um, you can arrive v is upper bounded by this function and v approaches to d4 over d5 as t going to infinity so we have boundedness of the closed loop system trajectories e and w tilde now in contrast to the projection operator proof, it is not possible here at all to recover asymptotic convergence when v dot is zero. Um, although um, it is intended to drive error to smaller values, um, 
unlike a projection operator. Um, since it is not possible to recover asymptotic convergence with sigma leakage modification when V dot is zero, an alternative approach to sigma modification is E modification given in here. Basically, uh, we insert absolute value of error here um, with the understanding when error going to zero or approaching the neighborhood of zero, this term also becomes, becomes zero and this leakage term disappears when error is small. So this is a nice modification. I would like to mention it here. <clears throat> you can find its full proof um, in my PhD dissertation uh, dated uh, 2012. Um, in my personal life, I use, usually use projection operator because I would like to recover um, asymptotic convergence of error dynamics to zero. And um, this is not possible with sigma modification. And E modification based leakage is also a nice approach. Um, but um, I, in order to have, you know, bounds uh, on W hat, I use projection operator because, you know, um, W min and W max selections for the projection operator can be conservative. And I simply would like to recover asymptotic convergence when W dot is, uh, is zero. And so for this reason, most of the time I use projection operator as this being said, I also used in some applications, sigma modification or E modification type of terms. So to make the long story short, projection operator, sigma modification based leak leakage, E modification based leakage are the absolutely the most popular ways in the literature and in applications of adaptive control theory. Uh, use them, compare them and find your best.